Hey guys, this is Adam with Mods for Quads here with Susan. Hi. And uh, we're delighted to present to you today in hopes of working with Warren Cork Leadership. And uh, just want to tell you a little bit about what we've been working on and how it came to be. Um, for me, uh, when I became injured and was first in the hospital, I noticed right away that there weren't many resources for me outside of the hospital setting. And I was at Craig Hospital, a very specialized spinal cord injury recovery center. So they have a lot of resources as, uh, for a hospital. And that helped me tremendously and helped me learn a lot about uh, daily survival and, and uh, you know, how to survive the many, many complications that come along with being a C4 quadriplegic. And when I left the hospital, um, you know, I started to look for resources uh, around a lot of things. I looked for people in my situation that uh, had walked again or had, you know, gotten the most recovery. I was trying to figure out what the possibilities were for my recovery. And um, you don't get much useful information from doctors in that situation. Um, there's so much advice at the hospital that is um, liability based that we don't get the kind of life coaching or uh, mentoring that we really need because uh, I've yet to meet a person with a spinal cord injury that knew what to expect or was ready for it when it happened. It, it throws us into um, a very chaotic and a very dangerous uh, predicament that on any given day can frankly take our lives if we're not uh, conscious about what we're doing and if we're not informed about what we're doing. Uh, and so, you know, we hear everything our doctors have to tell us, but their scope only goes so far and it leaves a lot of unanswered questions. And when one tries to go on the internet and find a comprehensive source of information and resources on the internet, there simply isn't one. Uh, if you just go and start Googling things, you'll find a lot of stuff. You'll find a lot of stuff, but there's no, no comprehensive hub of that information or of that community, so to speak. Um, everything that we have available to us um, is almost entirely clinically based, um, which is very good. It's very good to have all the research information and, and all the science behind what we're experiencing. But there's a very large gap in uh, community outreach in the spinal cord injury community um, because, you know, we live a life that not many people can relate to. And it's hard enough for us to relate to each other because there's a seemingly infinite number of manifestations of spinal cord injury. So even people that are very intimately acquainted with it still struggle to understand a lot of it, um, even understanding our own situation. So as time went on, I, I experienced a lot of very severe complications that uh, it, it would have surprised very few people if I had not survived them. I had um, uh, eight concurrent stage four pressure wounds. Any one of them would have been considered life-threatening and um, hospice was taken away from me in the 11th hour and my wife and I were left with large stage four wounds that we had to heal at home on our own without any help. Um, so, and, and then for me, there's been a few other, a few other situations that were considered life-threatening. And um, frankly, you know, the people around me, other than perhaps my wife and my immediate family, didn't expect me to make it. And um, my story is very, very common. And uh, there's a lot of people that don't make it. And um, we live in a very, a very um, wonderful place in this valley, in, in Carbondale especially, uh, the community here. And then for people with spinal cord injury, there's actually 
a surprisingly um, really good community in this valley and uh, with programs like Bridging Bionics and, uh, and uh, Williamsburg Leadership and Valley Life for All. You know, we have some amazing resources here and it seems like a great place to um, start what we, what Susan and I have been working on. And, you know, as I started to move through my recovery and realizing how few resources there were and then interacting with doctors that had kind of written me off for dead and being left in a situation where we literally had to find our own way and find how to heal things without anyone's help because we weren't getting any. Um, you know, as time went up on, I just realized more and more that I was kind of on my own to figure all this out, largely, and it's, it's, that's a very hard thing to do. Not many people have the resources to do that. Not many people have the, um, the drive or perhaps the stubbornness to do that. And if we don't see other people out there doing it in our situation, it's just so easy to slip into deep depression and really dark places mentally. And uh, personally, for me, I grew up an athlete, I grew up a competitor, and um, you know, competing with myself. Um, and that kind of mindset, I think, helped me, um, you know, when I became hurt, it was like, okay, what's the next thing I can do, you know? What's the next step? Um, I don't ever plan on stopping my recovery, uh, regardless of how old I get or how long it's been after my injury. It's something that I'll continue to strive for until I don't have the option anymore. And um, in that way, I think I'm blessed with the background I have. It, I think it made it easier for me. And a lot of people don't have that to fall back on and they need other people in their situation that really care to, you know, to not give up, frankly. And so, uh, specifically what we're actually working on is creating a hub for spinal cord injury culture, spinal cord injury community, so that we can find each other and share our stories and I can tell people about the crazy ways I was able to heal wounds that we were told was a miracle after we healed those wounds. And um, we were hoping they would take notes instead of calling it a miracle. Um, but it's a story that should be shared. And it's, it's a tough thing to find. If you go on Facebook, you know, Facebook groups are extremely limited in their, uh, in their interface, in their interaction uh, with their users. It's very difficult to search for things. People are asking the same questions every day, and uh, it's just not a very efficient way to to make sense of our our predicament and to reach out and find other people, make friends. Um, you know, since COVID, you know, people's spinal cord injuries so easily become isolated physically, psychologically, mentally, and online resources are are more potent and more valuable than ever before. So what we're hoping to do is create a hub of spinal cord injury community that is both informa informational through, you know, clinical research, but also through, you know, our own experiences, sharing our own experiences with one another. And so many of us have found unique ways of coping and thriving and we want to really shine a light on that, as well as all of the entities out there, the nonprofits, the uh, adaptive equipment companies, um, you know, research studies that are going on, uh, and then, you know, a, a place where people check in every day or two and see what the latest is in the spinal cord injury community. And, and constantly have dialogue with one another, provide each other support. Um, we want to recruit ambassadors that, you know, success stories, people that can share their success stories and, and make themselves available um, 
to people with questions, to people that are in, in really dire need of help. So um, that's what we've um, set out to do. And we will be absolutely thrilled to partner with Roaring Fork Leadership to see this through. Uh, we're in the early stages of our development right now, our uh, web development especially, which is probably the most tedious and the most um, time consuming and s seemingly um, perfect timing really um, to help us um, with what we need the most help with um, if you choose to partner with us. And um, so, Thank you for your consideration, and I'll turn it over to Susan to explain some of the other aspects of what we're doing. Thank you, Adam. Yes, we are super excited to be presenting in front of you. I wish we could do it in person, um, so there's that. We have our website address is mods, the number four, quads.com, and the whole, one of the days that I was working with Adam and some of the other spinal cord injury people that we worked with. Adam was telling a new quadriplegic who'd only been, I don't know, even two months out. I think he was in a car accident, same level that Adam had of injury. I just started watching them talking to each other and Adam was full of information for, and knowledge that, that Johnny was just um, so excited to hear about all the little intricacies about movement and equipment and um, time frames and routines and sensations and I, I mean I can't even go into the detail and I just felt immediately like this this guy is hanging on to every word Adam has to say and it's actually on our website on the contact us page kind of where this all started and I encourage all of you to kind of watch that because this is, gives you a good idea of what we're passionate about, how we want to share all of this information to help people get on track faster, regain movement faster, etc. So the website right now um, has been <laughs> pretty much my little baby, my little project, and I am not going to say that I am a, a technical wizard. I have some experience at it. I hired a, a webmaster in Canada to help me who's very knowledgeable on WordPress and some of the themes and plugins. And so we started as more of a brochure website knowing where we wanted to go for our future, but just building our momentum as we went and seeing where we were, where, how we were progressing. And so since May, we've shot about 14 videos of the types of information that we're trying to get out regarding wound care and bowel programs. And we have an entire list of kind of campus mini modules, mini videos that we want to make free um, to our community of SCI. And that is going to be driven by um, a program called Learn Dash, which is where I would love Roaring Fork Leadership to step in with me, help me categorize the courses, get them up online with brief descriptions, added PDFs so that people could like print out Adam's daily bowel routine schedule. Adam is a elephant brain of, uh, you are, <laughs> of supplements and recipes and scientific terms and ways to calm yourself and to look at your day. Like it, it, I'm so excited to get this information out. So the team would be helping me organize those courses, getting them up. Um, there's another facet of the website where we have a Buddy Boss. These are all WordPress plugin terms, but Buddy Boss is kind of like a, a community portal where you are able to get a profile, you log in, you put your picture, you'll be able to take, give us a minimum amount of information, but you're also gonna be able to give us more details on what type of injury you have. Do you wanna be in a group that has C6? Do you know, is that a C6? <laughs> <laughs> whichever level you are at and um, in addition you know how is your spirituality how is your soul doing how's your purpose in life what is it you want to accomplish and then that pro profile will actually be able to track the courses you've taken um, it'll be able to allow you to do some forums some blogs 
you know, get involved, schedule Zoom calls with us, have mentoring going on. So that profile um, page and that community portal is going to be, I think, so fantastic for, for all of um, this community to interact. So it's going to be the Buddy Boss portal, the Learn Dash tool for the campus, and then we're going to need some help just getting our search engine optimization kind of dialed in. You know, do we need a Facebook group? Do we need an Instagram, hand, you know, account? I haven't been able to have the time to do any of that. Um, how do I edit video? I've been sitting there for an hours, hours trying to figure out, like, I'm sure someone on your team probably already knows how to do that and, and um, can give us a lot of great feedback. So those are the types of things that we want help with and it's such perfect timing because we have a group of individuals that we want to do a test launch with. And if we can get Earn Fork leadership to donate the man hours we need to get to that second phase because we've already got funding for it, um, then we can like, you know, gear up and have eight or ten of us working on this all at once and be able to get this launched, you know, in time in April, May to, to get it out there um, for summer. I think it would be so exciting. So uh, that's kind of the gist. I could go into a little more detail, but it's all in the written um, presentation that we are giving you also. Didn't want to make this too long. Um, but I'm super passionate about this just because I've worked with Adam now for a couple of years and his voice is something that I think can change lives. and. I know it can change lives. Um, and I can imagine all the others out there that can also help and change lives. And if we just have a, a place where, where we can all share, um, I just think it's going to create a new frontline type of healing community that hopefully will spread and go viral everywhere. <laughs> Um, you know, if I break my neck, I want to talk to somebody who's broken their neck. If I have Parkinson's, I want to talk to somebody who's, who's had that and it can help me navigate my life. So that's what we're trying to do. I'm super excited to hear from you and thanks again for the opportunity. Do you have anything else? Well, and we do want to do a lot of community outreach and being involved in the local community directly and um, aside from the website. So any insight that the Growing Fork leaders would have into that, you know, um, we want this to be a global resource and um, there's a very big need for it. We know that very well. It's just a matter of providing the service to people and, um, you know, we want to make it free to everyone as much as possible and um, just help the most people possible. Okay, thank you. What better place to start this than the Orange Fork Valley? All right, thank you all. Go.